I don't know what to expect. It's been a while since I've been out on a Sunday night. I enjoyed the day taking care of some stuff at home and I said, you know, I'm gonna go out and it has, tomorrow, check that out. Let, let's see, let's see what that's about. I gave, delivered back two offers for tomorrow. I didn't accept one, then I accepted the next one and something made me look like an hour later. You know, I was just planning my week, planning my day tomorrow. And I went, no, I thought that said Jericho, a, um, a guac shop in Jericho. It was the guac shop in Comac on Jericho Turnpike delivery to Massapequa. Well, that's 27.6 miles from my home, one way to the pickup, then to the drop off. And then that would be almost 50 miles just for 30 bucks. And I gave it back and they didn't even question it. They just said, okay, I'll show you the text in a moment. You know, I turned down another one earlier at 11.30 a.m. That's usually when they send out their offers most of the time, around 11.30, 12 o'clock. And it was a Farmingdale pickup to a Greenvale delivery for 40 bucks. And I just, it's a lot of miles. The offer I gave back and I'm happy I caught it before tomorrow. Something made me look again. The subtotal of food is $170. The base fee is 26. The tip is 15. However, I would have to drive to Comac, which is, I think it was 27.6 miles from my home and then drive to the drop off. I, it just, it just wasn't logical. It's not enough money to put that type that much time into completing a delivery. It has to pay more than that. I'm driving a Comac, you know, and it's just, it's a lot of time in your car for very little money. 48 miles, 48.7 miles. And I'm home at 9.33 p.m. Not bad. So I didn't do so bad. I'll wait a little while for the last few tips to come in and I'll show you what I earned. I started at five to six, seven, eight, nine, we'll say three hours and 40 minutes. And let's see what I made. With Uber Eats, I earned $53.95. Grubhub, $18.65. Total, $72.60. That's not bad. Things happen for a reason. I obviously have to get this fixed tomorrow. Headlight out. I'm happy I came out for a little while because I didn't know that. I don't know how long that's been like that. So I'll take care of that. I'm really grateful I don't have a scheduled delivery tomorrow. I will discuss both deliveries. Cartwheel app, the Cartwheel app. I think people are using bots because for the past couple of weeks, they send out the notification and I'm right in front of the phone and I'm tapping and the order's gone. And I did some research with the Spark, people using bots. Uh, what I, the research I did, they charge $60 a month to use those bots. There's gotta be a way to prevent that. There's got to be a way to track if a driver is using a bot and grabbing orders that are being sent out to other food delivery people or shoppers. Because I, I really would like to at least complete a few a week of Spark. And it looks like that's happening with the Cartwheel app in my market. I don't know about anyone else's market, but my market. So I'm really happy I have Uber Eats and Grubhub to fall back on, you know. And with delivered, I look forward to just completing a few scheduled deliveries. I know I really pushed it for a while. I was out there beck and call. I'm going to keep the miles really low. I'm only going to take orders that make sense. And my goal for a while will be how little miles can I drive to earn, you know, 100 bucks a day. Let's see how I can play this out. My goal is not to be a delivery driver full time. 
I did it for many reasons. And I continued to do it because I want the steady income. However, for a while there, I was just buying crypto, asset cryptos, and really pushing it. Now, it's time to step back, reevaluate, pivot, level up, and see what comes next. I don't want to do this all the time. However, for part-time income, it's great. 